Welcome back to Chicago Car Club. Today we're going to be showing you this 1974 MG. It is a silver over tan, four-speed manual. This is a final year of a small bumper. We're going to go around, show you the good, the bad, take it on a test drive, put it up in the air. This is a 1275 motor. The car overall is, is a pretty damn good driver. Uh, a couple little things on it we'll note. And we'll get up close and personal here so that you're comfortable with the purchase. We encourage you to call us with any questions at 312-420-3696. Take you in close here. We'll notice on the passenger side, also on the driver's side, we've got a little bit of a, a, a door overextension uh, on opening that seemed to have damaged just in front of there. We've got new tires, which are in great shape. They've only got 200 miles on them. You'll note that the bumpers, trim, lights, glass, minus this little scratch here, are all in, in quite nice shape and intact. The grill is a little, a little wonky. It seems to be missing a couple little pieces. Um, those are definitely parts that are available, but we want to point that out. A little ding here in the bumper, but overall, it really, uh, really shows quite nicely. In that area in the corner there, it looks like there might have been some prior repair work. No guarantees, but we just want to point everything out. A little bit of an impression there. It looks like something might have got closed under the hood at some point. The body uh, panel alignment is really good on this car, as you can see from the rocker to the fender to the door. Other than that uh, overextension there, which the leather straps inside the doors look like they're broken. We did own this car years ago, and this is a repeat customer that uh, brought it back and traded it in. We note that there's a couple little rust bubbles here. This was resprayed. We believe it was a black car originally. Uh, the respray looks like it might have been done the last 10 years, 10 to 12 years. The little boot up there you'll notice is as the buttons are a little damaged on it, but the top is really in good shape on this car. This uh, little piece back here is loose. Just want to note that. Again, going back to the top, the top is in great shape. We've got it folded down right now and under the boot cover. Um, another little rust bubble here. That's really the extent of uh, the rust bubble and oxidation we see on the car. Inside the door, you'll notice the black there, which, which leads us to believe the car was originally black. The trim panels are pretty nice. They're not perfect, but they're good. All the latches and levers, cranks all feel good. Floor pan looks nice here. Driver's side here, same thing. Door panel consistent. And the jam, you can see that that extension, uh, the door catch, I guess you'd call it on these has been torn and that's probably what happened with the doors being folded too far forward. Again under here looks pretty good. You'll notice the throttle pedal um, is missing but the bar that's in there is what the pedal sits on. Actually feels pretty good underfoot. The gauge is all function nicely. Horn lights. The dash has a slight crack in it but overall is, is intact and really nice. The seats are really good. Um, this lever here is broken. Uh, that seat doesn't seem to release right now. We haven't played with it too much. That's probably how the lever broke. Inside the trunk, you'll see is nice and dry. Got the wheel tool there, and the, you can see the rails are nice and straight. Show you under here, bone dry. No, uh, no indication of repair. Under the hood is the 1275. It's got a new fuel pump in it. Alternator battery. Runs pretty good. It's got a uh, little stumble here just because it was cold. Uh, we'll take a look back here. You can listen to it. Not smoking. Idles nicely. Now we'll take it on a ride. It, it runs and shifts well through the gears. It accelerates pretty quickly. It actually feels pretty peppy. We do note that uh, on hard acceleration in third gear when you lift, it has a tendency sometimes to jump out of third and into neutral. Um, we haven't looked into that further, but we want to point that out. 
it stops nice and straight, it tracks nice and straight. Overall, it's a quite a good driver. Let you listen to the wind here and give you a little alongside view. I will put the car up in the air here and take a look um, all the way around. Just want to show you uh, so you can actually buy this with confidence. Um, we want to show you everything. So again, you can see the panel fitment's really nice. The paintwork is quite well, quite quite nice on the car. Uh, it's not perfect by any means. Obviously, we've got these little oxidation bubbles, but um, beyond that, uh, beyond the quarter panels behind the wheels, you know, there we don't notice any rust bubbles or anything like that. Only minor little blemishes here and there, like we showed you on the hood before. The under body of the car, the structure is really nice and solid and dry. Uh, it was undercoated. It looks like probably a long time ago and then maybe again recently. We can't really tell for sure if they're two different jobs, but the underside of the car looks nice. Everything is uh, intact and, uh, you know, feels we don't we don't notice any crazy road noises or anything that are of major concern. We do note that under the floor pans here, you can see a little different texture there. We're not sure if somebody might have uh, done something different under the floor pans or exactly what was done, but we just want to point that out. From the inside of the car, it looks fine, but uh, on the underside, we notice that. The rest of it, again, nice and straight. We don't notice any damage uh, from any prior accidents or anything of that sort. The old fuel system is obs no longer in use right now it's, since it is on a new electric pump. So you'll note that it's there but not functioning. Rear end is uh, sounds nice when running down the road. We don't hear any crazy howling or anything like that. Overall, it's quite a nice car. We encourage you to reach out and give us a call, 312-420-3696. You can also text us and find us uh, on the web at chicagocarclub.com. Thanks for watching.